Welcome everyone to the latest weather forecast today on this Sunday, November 19th. Concerning model information has been emerging today regarding a robust storm system, which is currently in the process of strengthening over the southern plains, as you can see here on the satellite imagery. In this forecast, I'll give you a detailed look at the growing severe weather potential with the Storm Prediction Center upgrading the tornado threat for Monday, November 20th. I'll also give you an update on some other threats this storm will bring. Let's start off this forecast with a look at how this storm system will unfold. Rainfall and isolated storms are present over the central plains as the low pressure system develops. Over the course of the day today, two low pressure systems will start to become more apparent. This will pull the warm and moist air from the Gulf northward, which will help the storm continue expanding. By this evening into tonight, we may see some stronger storms, especially over Oklahoma, with the primary threat of large hail. By Monday morning, the more southern low-pressure area will become the more dominant system, while the northern low-pressure system will get pulled around the main storm. The counterclockwise flow will become stronger as the system continues developing, with widespread rain showers and storms seemingly emerging from the Gulf of Mexico. Then by the late morning, we're going to start seeing explosive storms develop in East Texas as they move in a corridor from about Round Rock, Texas into Shreveport, Louisiana. The increasingly warm and moist air mass coupled with the strengthening lower level jet will allow these storms to continue strengthening, posing a large hail and damaging wind threat. But this is when things become really dangerous. By Monday afternoon, notice these bands of isolated cells streaming off the Gulf waters and heading northeastward across Louisiana. These cells that you see here, especially the ones that are more isolated, are the ones that are going to pose the bigger tornado threat. This is because they're going to be able to take advantage of the very unstable atmosphere around them without being drowned out by the colossal mass of storms following closely behind. As the hours go by, widespread severe weather will continue unfolding across Louisiana, southern Arkansas, and eventually Mississippi. We see more of a line of storms develop which could lower the hail threat but increase the damaging wind risk. Once again, those isolated supercells out ahead of this line are going to be the ones posing the biggest threat of tornadoes, some of which could be strong. The storms will move further into Mississippi over the evening hours with a continuous stream of isolated cells coming into Louisiana. Unfortunately, the threat isn't going to end by the time the sun goes down. By 9 or 10 p.m., New Orleans may be in the midst of chaotic severe weather with even a tornado threat. A powerful line of storms will then cross into Alabama sometime between 9 p.m. and midnight. The storms may continue by the very early morning hours of Tuesday across central Alabama into the Florida Panhandle, and then as far east as Georgia by sunrise on Tuesday. Thankfully, I do think the severe threat will be gradually decreasing by this point, especially as the storms cross through Alabama. Since the severe threat will be slowing down, now let's zoom out and see the overall picture. We can see that during this time, the storm system itself has matured into a large low pressure area, which should be located somewhere in the Ohio Valley by Tuesday morning. Widespread rainfall will also be occurring around the low pressure system. Wintry precipitation may begin over the mountains of Pennsylvania by the afternoon, with more wintry weather in the higher elevations of upstate New York into New England, as the precipitation continues moving in, which will be possible on Tuesday evening with snow in the mountains. We should see this system pull away on Wednesday, but precipitation may continue lingering around Maine by Thursday. Next up, the rainfall accumulation map shows where we may see some of the heaviest rain. It looks like we will see some beneficial rainfall across the central plains, especially from Oklahoma to South Dakota since the storm will be in the process of developing. But the further east you go, the heavier the totals will get. We can see that especially in the purple shades from Dixie Alley into New England. Those areas in the purple could receive up to 2-3 to three inches of rain with locally higher amounts possible. Thankfully, the flood threat won't be too high with this system, but I did create a flood potential map to give you a general idea of where the rain may be heaviest. Anywhere in the green shade from about East Texas all the way into the Northeast will see a steady rain, but especially along the I-95 corridor in the Mid-Atlantic and the Northeast, as well as parts of Dixie Alley could see the more persistent heavy rain, so make sure you keep that in mind. And now taking a closer look at the bigger threat we have with this storm, the severe weather. 
The severe threat will begin today across Oklahoma. The threat is pretty low, so any storms that do develop shouldn't be too intense, and the main threat should be large hail. Then on Monday, which is tomorrow, the main severe threat arrives. We just recently got an upgrade to an enhanced risk from the Storm Prediction Center, and the enhanced risk extends from Texas and Louisiana all the way into southern Mississippi. The most concerning risk will be the tornado potential, and as you can see, we have a 10% risk of strong tornadoes already in effect for northern Louisiana into Mississippi. This includes places like Alexandria, Louisiana, Vicksburg, Mississippi, and Jackson, Mississippi. The damaging wind threat will be elevated in the brown and yellow shades, but especially for the red area. This is because the storms will congeal more into a squall line by this point, so a more widespread wind damage event may unfold. Then for the hail threat, it will be more of the opposite with the primary large hail threat being further west, and this is because the storms will be more supercellular in this area. Then by Tuesday, the severe weather potential will be lowering as the storms head further east into Alabama and Georgia. Nonetheless, damaging winds, isolated large hail, and perhaps a tornado will be possible. This brings us to the possible snowfall I'm expecting from this system. A quick couple inches are possible from the mountains in Pennsylvania into the mountains of New England before precipitation switches over to rain. This brief wintry weather episode before switching back over to rain will lead to a slushy mess after the system moves out. With that said, we've reached the conclusion of today's forecast. Make sure you stay tuned to the latest community posts from this channel for more supplementary updates on the severe weather situation tomorrow, as well as any other updates that are needed. You can subscribe to this channel with the notification bell on so you receive all my weather videos and also live coverage for dangerous weather events in the US and Europe. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.